Use distributed property to simplify. We're going to look at a problem first. Which is the simplified expression for 2 times quantity x minus 4 minus 7 times quantity x minus 4? And in this video, we're going to use two different approaches to solving problems. We're going to use what we call the old school way, which is using the distributed property. Also, we're going to use test taking tricks, which we're going to use to solve problems or to check them. And we're going to go ahead, use the distributed property, and multiply the terms on the outside of the parentheses times each term on the inside of the parentheses. And here they're connected by green and blue lines. And if we take 2 times x, it simplifies to simply 2x. And for the next thing, we take 2 times negative 4. And 2 times negative 4 is negative 8. And then for the next term, we take negative 7 times x, which is going to be simply negative 7x. And for the last term here, we take negative 7 times negative 4. Negative 7 times negative 4 is positive 28. And the next thing we need to do is combine like terms. And here we have 2x minus 7x, and 2x minus 7x is negative 5x. Now based on that, we can eliminate answers a and b already, because they do not have negative 5x for their x term. And the last thing we need to do is take negative 8 plus 28, and we get as an answer plus positive 20. And so therefore, Based on this, C would be our correct answer. Now to check, we're going to use a test taking trick. And we go to our graphing calculator, and we store a value for x. In this case, I use 0.5. And then enter this expression here. And entering that expression here, I get a value of 17.5. And then we're going to check for expression equivalency and enter choice C. And entering negative 5x plus 20, we also get 17.5 which is a proof of expression equivalency so we're more sure of choice C. Next problem, which expression is equivalent to uh, quantity 3n minus 7 times 2n minus quantity 2n plus 1 times quantity 4n minus 3? Now this expression has quite a few operations needed to solve and so what we're going to do is start out solving this is a test taking trick method and what we need to do is store a value for n in this case I stored 0.9 and we type in this expression here and get as a value negative 9.42 and so now we need to use our multiple choices here and check them for expression equivalency we enter for a and we get negative 92.724 which is not negative 9.42 so we cross that out as incorrect and we enter choice B and we find we also get negative 9.42 which is our check for expression equivalency and we know that that's right now we also need to check C and D but I leave that to you to do that and we'll go on to our next problem the expression 5 times quantity y minus 2 minus 5 times quantity 2 minus y represents the total number of calories Brenda burned during her workout what is a simplified form of this expression? And so we're going to start out with the old school method. And we're going to write this down below and use our lines, uh, our, our black and red lines, to demonstrate multiplying the term outside the parentheses times each term inside the parentheses. And here we write them down below. They simplified 5y minus 10 minus 10 plus 5y and the next thing we need to do is combine like terms and so we have 5y plus 5y and negative 10 minus 10 so that's going to translate to 10y minus 20 and where is that answer visible? Well it's A and so uh, we can choose A but we're also going to use our test taking trick to check it and so we store a value for y, in this case I stored 0.6 and entered this expression above and get as a value negative 14 and we're going to enter the expression for a with 10y minus 20 and we also get negative 14 which is a check and so now we're sure we got it right. Now let's go to our next problem. What is the area of the triangular pendant shown in the figure? And one thing we need to keep in mind when we deal with areas we have to keep in mind the formula 
for the areas of the shape we're evaluating. In this case, the triangle, the form of the area is going to be 1 half base times height, or base times height over 2. And so we're going to uh, go ahead and stop the video, and I'd like you to solve it by yourself, see if you can get it right, then start it to check your work. Okay, first we're going to start out using the old school way. And what I like to do for multiplying two binomials together is use the box method. And here we put this expression x minus 3y on the top of the box. And we put the expression for the base here, 4x plus 2y, and we put it over here on the side of the box. And then we multiply the terms in the rows and columns together as they meet, and these are the terms we get. And we notice that we have two xy terms, and so we're going to need to combine those terms, so that's going to be negative 10xy, and so we write it out 4x squared minus 10xy minus 6y squared. So is that going to give us as our answer b? Well, the thing we have to remember, and this is where it's easy to make a mistake, is the formula for area of a triangle is 1 half base times height. So we need to multiply this expression times 1 half or divide by 2. And when we do that, we get 2x squared minus 5xy minus 3y squared. And so our answer is D. And then uh, finally, to check, we use a test taking trick. We put negative 2 storage x, I mean point 2 storage x, point 3 storage y, and we enter 4x plus 2y times x minus 3y, and we divide that by 2, and we get negative 0.49. And then we enter the expression for D, and we get also negative 0.49. And so we know we're correct. Now, to summarize, we need to use the distributive property to simplify. We need to combine like terms if needed. And then we need to use test-taking tricks of storing for variables to check for expression equivalency. And, and I'd like to remind you not to use number 0, 1, 2, negative 1, or negative 2 to store for variables. And finally, we need to just choose the right answer. I hope this video has been instructive and enjoyable for you.